What's up, YouTubers? My boy Suggy on YouTube. Um, trying to do a airsoft review of both my guns. Uh, first off, I'll start with the case. This is the upgrade kit from evite.com. Very good place to have it. It's the way I have it set up. Not too sure if you can see that. Oh well. I'll start off with my first, well, two speed loaders. Two of one. Start off with my first gun that I bought. It's the H, oh, not the H, the CQB Masters. Very good gun. Um, I actually have a problem with it right now. Uh, let me show you. This has no BBs in it. When I load it, I'll pull back the slide. It won't, the slide lock will not engage. That's one of the problems. The second on this gun is that the barrel is very loose in there. Uh, very loose, and the inner barrel is very loose too. I do not want to get into detail. I'll show you in another video, but this is just basically the reviews that uh, of my guns and what's the problem. Uh, I'll do another video and fully break it down and show you what's wrong with it. But CQB Master, one of my first guns. Uh, my wife likes it now, so that's hers. Uh, and now I have the M9. Special Forces. This is the M190. Trademarks. It has. Oh, crap. It has a logo on the thingy. It's like a spider web. Um, very awesome gun. I like it very much. Uh, this is the. Uh, you flip it over there's the the when you cover up the letterings this is SA semi auto FA for full auto and safe when you have it on safety you cannot pull back anything the slide release nothing you can pull back the trigger but it will not engage take it off you can put it on uh, full auto if you want and then you can fire it this has no problem with the slide lock like my QBC no problem it locks right back I don't need to do anything see perfectly fine uh, the only problem that I do have is one of my magazines uh, started um, call it um, leaking on me and one way one way I can tell the junk magazine is that I can shake it around and the insides are all gone I tried to take it apart but I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to get something skinny enough to go into these little tiny holes. I tried to pull it out. This is my first error. Um, if anybody knows how to fix these magazines, it's the HFC 9mm magazines. 
if anybody does know how to fix it I would like to fix it so that way I still have a working magazine after I fixed it because these magazines are like 30 bucks a piece and it's quite expensive for me even uh, it just sucks because I'm in Hawaii and as you can see that is that is my uh, wedding picture in the background um, but that's basically it uh, other than that uh, I like the gun uh, that's the only thing that's wrong with the gun um, little button push and pull down front part slide comes right off okay just like that back it up just like that slide release bam um i'll do a more in-depth uh video of this and some of the uh, things that you need to watch out for when taking this gun apart there's a couple of a uh, couple of things that I found that was very difficult to figure out, but I figured it out. There's this um, little metal piece back here that's held with a little um, spring. And if you take off this plastic piece, this is the only plastic part on the gun. If you take this off, it will fly off. So... I will do a more in-depth thing on that maybe tomorrow. But other than that, this is my M9. And my CQB Master. Which I like very much. They are very good guns. Either which one. Uh, the only reason why I like the M9 is because it's full auto. And the CQB is good because it hits hard. I like that. Oh, uh, sights. Let me show you the sights. M9. I had to modify it just a little bit. Don't worry, there's no mag in. There. there is no bullet in there either. And guys, please every precaution do not mistake in this for a real firearm because it basically is a real firearm because it will do some damage on a human body of course you guys all know that whoever got shot by one uh but yeah sights Let's see if i can get it out there bang I uh, sanded the back sight and the front sight because it was quite hard to see when it's like this. It's all black. It's quite hard to gauge, so I sanded it down so that I could see the front sight as well as the back sight when I'm lining up my sights. There it is. Bam. Okay. That is my HFC, HFC, and this is my CQB. It has the fiber optic up front. Fiber optic up front. Remember this screw, if this front piece, because this is two different slides, uh, one slide, uh, a partial slide, remember to, if this site does get uh, loose, remember to tighten the bottom, alrighty, my boy Sugi, aloha, oh, comment, rate, whatever, uh, whoever knows how to do anything that I said, uh, please inform me, Leave a message or report back through video. All right. Aloha.